Welcome to In the Studio. I am your sometime host, Matt Blake, and joining me today to talk about Davis Children's Chorale is Luann Higgs. Hi. Hello. How are you today, Luann? I'm good, thank you. And you go by Lou? I do. Excellent. Thanks for joining me in the studio. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So start by telling me more about Davis Children's Chorale, please. Okay. Well, the Davis Children's Chorale is a Davis institution. It's been around for 22 years. It was started by Don and Rachel Kessler. They created a 5013C, a nonprofit called Valley Artist, Artist Productions. And within that, they created the Davis Brass Ensemble, the Davis Chorale, and the Davis Children's Chorale. And so Rachel Kessler is kind of the, the mother of this um, organization. I'm currently the artistic director. And Rachel still works with some of the children. We have three levels of kids in the choir. And we have uh, young kids. They're kindergartners, I think kindergartners, uh, first graders, second graders. And they go to her house on Mondays uh, once a week from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock and sing. They do play games, uh, musical games, uh, do rounds, just learn a little bit about singing. And then when they get a little older, and that'll be third grade to ninth grade, I get these kids. Oh. And we, we put them in two groups as well. We have the third graders to about the fifth graders. And it, it depends on maturity level as well. It doesn't, it's, it's not just an age cutoff or a grade, grade cutoff. So the, the younger kids rehearse with me on Mondays and Thursdays from 4.15 to 5.15. And this is September through May. And um, the older kids, they rehearse with me only once a week, and that's on Thursdays from 4.15 to 6.25 with a break, with snacks, <laughs> all important <laughs> snacks. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, so, and so we have a little break, a 15-minute break where they can play, at, um, and this, that's at the Davis Community Church is where we rehearse. And um, the, the level twos and level threes are basically a combined choir. Um, the older kids will have um, maybe one song by themselves, a little bit more difficult, but, the, the, but they're a combined choir and we all learn um, the same songs for the most part. And um, we perform, that's our major goal is to perform in the area, and we mm. perform a lot. So we're, we're an asset of Davis. We, uh, the, Davis the city of Davis uses us a couple times a year uh, just to make clear the kids can do one semester at a time. They mm. don't have to do the whole year. It is a commitment. They, do, it, they should come to practice, <laughs> although I do work uh, with some kids have soccer or robotics or whatever else they've got. I work with that, but they do need to come to practice at least once a week. And I give them rehearsal tracks and so they can rehearse and on their own or they often have little parties and, and rehearse. Um, but we work with, uh, we perform in the winter season. We start at the farmer's market. We'll, we'll be out there, rain or shine. <laughs> and last year it was rain. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we also perform, we have our own performance, which is held at the Davis Community Church. Mm. And uh, we sing our full repertoire there, also with solos. Uh, we, do ha we have had, luckily, a wonderful pianist accompanist mm. named Oliver Steisberg. He has graduated from high school. Oh, from high school. Yeah, so moving he is on. moving on. And so we are coming, we are in the market for a a, 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 a a pianist. You know, we would prefer somebody in high school or in junior high that can fill that bill, so they can get um, experience. That's how I started my accompanying career, as I was accompanying for Rachel Kessler's voice students. <laughs> and um, it's good to have that kind of experience. Yeah. And um, so, where was I? Here we go. You are very far down the road. Oh, we're, we're and if I don't mind, if, if you don't mind, maybe we take it back one step. Mm -hmm. What is a choir? A choir. Oh, what a great question. A choir is a group of people that sing together. Okay, so okay. it's not necessary to have the accompaniment 
They could no, just sing a cappella. In fact, this year I'm going to be working more on a cappella because I don't have an accompanist at this point. All right. So I am an accompanist. I can do that myself. But I, I, we're going to be working a little bit more in a cappella, which takes a little bit more um, work sure. on the choir's sure. part. So we're all going to be singing together. Um, that also means getting along. <laughs> And learning how to be respectful to each other and respecting each other's art. Because singing is so personal. Mm. It's um, when you play a piano or a trumpet, you're playing an instrument. But we are our instruments. And so it's very personal. It's very personal to sing and off, often very scary. Sure. You know. Yeah. That said, we sing together. That's not as scary. Mm -hmm. But... I also have opportunities for solos and duets, and I will be doing that for the Christmas concert. I was talking about um, our concerts that we do in the fall. We also go to uh, Carlton Senior Center, oh, sure. and we sing over there, and Atria, we've sung over there. And we sing at the Capitol Rotunda in Sacramento. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a fun outing. And... Uh, where else do we? Say? Oh, this is a big one. Is that we also are employed by the Davis, not employed, but we are used by the Davis Chorale. And the Davis Chorale, whenever they need a children's choir, we fit mm. that bill. And so last December, we were asked to uh, provide their children's choir for the St. Nicholas Cantata by Benjamin Britten, which is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough. And I actually had a subset of the choir, and we rehearsed for that um, separately okay. on a Sunday afternoon or something. These were volunteers, and they did a great job. They did a great job, and I was so proud of them. They were It's very difficult. We had a boy soloist from our choir who sang. He was the young St. Nicholas. Uh -huh. They did a great job. And we will be singing with the Davis Chorale. That's the... Uh, adult choir headed by Allison Skinner here in town and we will be singing for uh, it's a as I understand it a family friendly concert um, on December 8th oh very nice 2019 coming up <laughs> right. so if I'm understanding it correctly just from a parent's perspective mm -hmm. it sounds to me like it's pretty low barrier to entry Mm -hmm. And you're going to be learning teamwork as a child, not as a parent. Although the parents probably learn some teamwork too. Um, snacks. You're going <laughs> to snacks are important. We all know that snacks are important. Um, but you're going to learn teamwork and a little confidence being on stage, but with those other kids, so that mm -hmm. maybe you're not you're not all alone doing a solo until you're ready to do the solo. Right. Um, and um, it, I noticed on your website, what is the website again? It's dccore.org, so it's d-c-h-o-r dot o-r-g. All right, dccore dot o-r-g. Um, but I noticed on there that you have some uh, auditions for the kids that are of, uh, above the kindergarten level or the younger level. We call them auditions. Basically, let me tell you um, and our audience that I accept everyone. I, I am inclusive. I want people to come and sing. I think it's important that children have some kind of self-expression. There in Davis, there's so many organizations for kids to do that, and that's great, you know. And so this is one of them. Um, but I, it, I, ex I will welcome people with disabilities. If you're autistic or Asperger's or whatever physical disabilities come and sing in my choir. And I want not only those kids to feel included and, and valued, and I want the other kids to get to know those kids, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so um, self-expression is important, and it's a lifelong thing. You know, it starts when you're a kid. I have friends now that I had in junior high and from singing, you know, and it's it's just a very fulfilling thing, and it's 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 a good way just to have a little release from the academic world. And yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it sounds so. Getting back to the low barriers to entry, sure. so it sounds like everyone is welcome, and the mm -hmm. audition is really sort of. Uh, 
a uh, voice placement more than an audition. Voice and placement, yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm there to teach them how to sing. Great. You know, some kids will come in with perfect pitch. You know, they'll be able to play instruments and read music. And some kids won't have done anything and won't have any kind of pitch. But sure. I'm there to teach them. That's my job. And um, yeah. so... So some teamwork and some music mm -hmm. and some self-confidence and um, it's one hour a week of practice, one hour and 10 two. minutes, two, two hours, two hours mm -hmm. a week. Yeah, so Monday and Thursday, wrong? yeah, Monday and Thursday for the, the smaller kids, yeah. the, Monday, the Monday rehearsals will go a little slower for them, if, for the sure. younger kids, then uh, it'll be 415 to 625 for the big kids on just once a week. Got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is two hours, not one. Right. You are correct. Yeah. <laughs> so you learn a little math as well, which is great. We uh, do do some, we do learn to read music or, or I try to introduce that, especially to the older kids because I'm looking at them to get into the high school choirs, which are auditioned. Okay. They're and there's an they are competitive, and mm. so we work on the entrance exams, what they need to know. Um, they sing their solos that they're required to sing at the high school, so that's for the older kids. Okay. And so I start introducing that and just getting them used to that process as well. All right, so really an expressed interest to join the choir, mm -hmm. two hours a week of practice, and then the around town performances, what's that schedule look like? Yeah, December's pretty busy. Sure. Um, in the spring, it's not as bad. Uh, spring, I, bad is not the word to use, but as it's busy. not as busy. Yeah. Spring is, uh, May we have a, a Mother's Day concert. Uh, we sing at the Memorial Day con uh, observance at the Davis Cemetery. We sang at St. John's um, in Woodland. It's a, a a retirement center. We were asked by a church to, to uh, participate in their services, mm -hmm. and so we sang. Um, we sang at their service and then gave a concert afterwards. Oh, nice. So it was a little less um, spaced out. But uh, the fall can get a little busy. I do want to mention too that. I am recruiting for folks to join, and we have a retreat hmm. um, this year. It's going to be s September 6th through 8th. We go up in the mountains. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we leave uh, Friday night, I think, and, and get there, and then we're done uh, Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, parents can come, and we need parents. We'll need at least sure. six parents um, and to, to be in the cabins because it is overnight. Oh, yeah, sure. And, um, but we rehearse quite a bit, so it's kind of a big kickstart of the season. Okay. So I would like people to, if they want to join, join by then because we okay. want you to come to the retreat. All right, and so just tell us how to join. Go to our website, and I'm hoping they're DCC Core, it was DCCHOR dot org. <laughs> Go Got to it. our website and there's the information there. Okay. There's me, you can get my information. I also have an assistant director slash business manager. Her name's Tanya Kumar, and she handles uh, the collecting of stipends. There, This is, we do require um, a stipend each month or for the semester or for the year. Mm -hmm. Also, we have concert dress, and she gets those ordered, and we have sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff and music and folders and so she she handles most of that she does a terrific job and i couldn't live without her <laughs> so yeah That's it's a great. lot of work <laughs> well, it sounds like a lot of work and it, i think it, it, from what i have seen mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely work that is paying off and we do have a clip that we can run as oh, we end the show today. Great. Um, and I believe it's, uh, don't forget to button up your button overcoat. Button up your overcoat. <laughs> okay. The kids really like that. I did want to mention quickly that yeah. we do a, a huge variety of music because mm -hmm. we're kids. You know, we want to be right. exposed to a lot of stuff. Um, we do classical, we do pop, we do jazz, pop meaning show tunes. Sure. And um, this is one they really enjoyed. <laughs> This is one they really liked. <laughs> All right, excellent. So if what you see appeals to you, viewer, uh, go check out the website and join the Davis Children's Chorale. And if you would like to accompany something like this uh, and you are a good pianist, uh, give them a call as well. Sounds like we can 
use you here in Davis for all these wonderful shows. And with that, thank you for joining me in the studio. And thank you, Lou, for joining me in the thank studio. Thank you for having me. And this is the Davis Children's Chorale singing, Don't Forget to Button Up Your Overcoat. Thank you. 